if anyone can So help you us have now. seen things, yes. My magic grows weak, and so does the barrier around our village. Time is short. Tell me what you know. Really? How? The legends speak of that place. Terrible battles fought at the temple. The dragons burning it to the ground in rage. They speak also of something worse than dragons buried within. Difficult to imagine, but if true, it means what I feared has come to pass. Mirak was never truly gone, and now has returned. If you could go to this place and see him, are you like Mirak? Are you dragonborn? Then perhaps you are connected with him. The old tales say that he too was dragonborn. I am unsure. It may mean that you could save us, or it may mean that you could bring about our destruction. But our time here is running out. The few of us left free of control cannot protect ourselves for much longer. You must go to Sering's Watch. Learn there the word that Mirak learned long ago, and use that knowledge on the Windstone. You may be able to break the hold on our people there, and free them from control. Much of what was known has been lost to the ages. He was dragonborn, and yet he served the dragons. A priest in their order, highly esteemed and very powerful. Then he turned against them, becoming something they feared. He was defeated long ago, but it seems he was never really destroyed. Some dark influence wields power over them, forces them to forget themselves and act against their nature. At first, it was only during the night. But now every moment is spent building some strange shrine around the Windstone. I believe if the shrine can be destroyed, the Skull will be free once more. Mirak is behind what is happening to our village. And so the knowledge she has gained as Dragonborn is at the heart of it. You are Dragonborn as well. You too can wield this power, perhaps to a better end. May darkness never touch you. If anyone can help us now, it is you.
takes a strong will to command a dragon's soul. Perhaps you aren't as powerful. One step closer to my return.
You have prevailed. I can feel it. So it is. You have proven yourself an ally to the Skull, and so the Skull shall be allies to you. If you have released the Windstone and broken the hold on my people, perhaps you can do the same for the rest of Solstheim. I doubt it will fully stop whatever Mirak is doing, but it may slow his progress. I cannot help with that. None here can. You will need the knowledge Mirak himself learned. You will need to learn more about this black book. Mirak had this? This does not look like something of the dragon cult. It is a dark thing, unnatural. I would have nothing to do with it. But the dark elf wizard, Neloth, he came to us some time ago, asking about black books. I believe he knows a great deal about them. Perhaps too much. Seek him out to the south. Be cautious, Dragonborn. There is something else at work here. Our traditions do not speak of them, but they and Mirak are connected. You read a black book and saw him. And the book's power comes from the same dark source as that which corrupted the Windstone. But beware. You are now walking the same road as Mirak. He also is searching for them. In fact, he has already found one. He showed it to me when he came here. It was very like the one you found in Mirak's temple. A thing of dark magic, not of the Allmaker. The power of the stone had been corrupted. It was the source of the influence that had taken control of the skull. Your shout broke whatever evil will controlled the stone and restored its true nature as a conduit of the All-Maker's gifts. Freeing the other stones will diminish whatever dark influence is spreading across Solstheim. Yes, there are six sacred stones. Wind, water, earth, beast, sun, and tree. Through them, the oneness of the land is maintained. Freya saw that the tree stone now stands imprisoned in Mirak's new temple. I doubt that you can free it until his power is broken. But you may be able to cleanse the other stones. Even if this does not stop Mirak, it surely will delay his return. You are an outsider. And I don't know if I can make you understand. I will try. The Allmaker is the maker of all things. And it is from the Allmaker that life flows like a great river. As all rivers must return to the sea, so all life returns in time to the Allmaker. I know our ways must seem strange to you, but the nine gods of the Empire are equally strange to us. As shaman of Skull Village, I serve as both a guide and a healer, as well as a keeper of traditions. I also remind the Skull to live as one with nature and to honor the will of the All-Maker, so that we will be worthy to join him in death. All-Maker, shelter you.
you follow me. You follow me. Idle mind sleeps. By night we reclaim. By day was stolen. It's better off. What a waste. Have you been by Thirsk? Have you seen... Is there any of the mead left? Help us.
far from ourselves. Damn that man. He's being totally unreasonable. This just isn't right. Why was I working on that stone? She knew a girl with a hair of gold. Got that filthy I called her fish. She called me bold. She was real surprised. when I pulled that knife from my boot. Just one more bottle. Maybe a second one to get to sleep. Retire someday. Get myself a place on the land. Here. Aren't you supposed to be in the tower assisting Master Nala? Won't this summoning work? If you must know, I am trying to get this Ash Guardian spell to work. Now let me concentrate. Besides, shouldn't you be worrying about the damage to the tower? Master Neloth has tasked Alenya with repairing the tower. Why are you doing this in the lab, where it would be safer for all of us? The, uh, the lab is too small. Also, I need the ashy soil. Master Neloth knows what I'm doing. No need to bother him about it, though. He's quite busy at the moment. It's on your head if something goes wrong. Just let me get back inside oh, first. Oh, Ash Guardian. Maybe the book has something. We don't get many visitors. Is there something you need? Tell Mithrin. It's the home of Master Neloth. You may have heard of him. He's a famous Telvanni wizard. Two fingers pronated. What's pronated? In Morrowind, the Telvanni grow buildings from special fungus spores. Master Neloth grew one here to be his home. Don't ask me how. No, Talvis is his apprentice. I'm his steward. I manage the day-to-day -day affairs of Telmithrin. Now, if you'll excuse me. I don't think you belong here. Does Master Neloth know about you? Yes. I'm trying to summon an Ash Guardian. I'm just having trouble deciphering Master Neloth's handwriting. I, I don't mean to be rude, but I need to concentrate. Tart bones? That doesn't even make sense. I must ignore that part. You again? Didn't I see you in Ravenrock? You refer to the tomes of esoteric knowledge that old Hermaeus Mora has scattered throughout the world? Is this somehow connected to your search for Mirak? If you have to ask that, you'd probably be best leaving his books to wiser heads than yours. Like all Daedric princes, he's not to be trifled with, but he is subtler than most of his ilk, appropriate for the prince of knowledge and fate. Many scholars and law masters have been ensnared by the lore of learning the secrets that only Hermaeus Mora possesses. But don't worry, 
I have no intention of joining them in that endless search through the infinite halls of Apocrypha. You didn't know? Hmm. I thought it was obvious. Hermaeus Mora has always tried to seduce mortals into his service with the law of forbidden knowledge. Where the black books actually came from, no one really knows. Some appear to have been written far in the past. Others might be from the future. Apparently time is more malleable if you're the Daedric Prince of Fate and Destiny. Found one? Yes. And you read it too, didn't you? Don't try to deny it. You've got the look. I can see it now. Dangerous knowledge is still knowledge and therefore useful. Usually it turns out to be the most useful in my experience. Now that is a dangerous path indeed. Hermaeus Mora gives nothing away for free. You may end up like Mirak, of course. Two power mad dragonborn. It could be very interesting. Oh yes, they're not hard to locate once you know how to look for them. I have one here that I've been using to locate more. Yes, I haven't been idle while this fascinating madness engulfed Solstheim. But my book isn't what you're looking for. I'm quite sure it is unconnected with this Mirak. But I do know where to find a black book that can help you. Oh, it is clearly not associated with the same power that has overtaken the island. And I'm not talking about Hermaeus Mora. These black books are all his, of course. No, what you're looking for is a specific book, presumably because Mirak's power derives from it. Yes, I do. I haven't been able to get it, though. But maybe together we can unlock the secrets the Dwemer left behind. Forbidden knowledge was somewhat of a specialty of the dwarves, eh? You don't think they would just leave it alone, do you? It seems the ancient Dwemer discovered this book and took it to study. I found their reading room in the ruins of Nachardak. The book is there, but it's sealed in a protective case, which I wasn't able to open. But perhaps the two of us, together, will be able to get at the book. To Nachardak, then. Follow me.